Hello everyone, Rurikon here coming at you with another episode of Dark Souls The Pyro Lord Adventures. And today we're going to try hitting back uh, Sen's Fortress. And yeah, last time we had a really rough time on Sen's Fortress. We died quite a few times. Although I'm slowly starting to map out where the Black Phantoms are. So we should be able to eventually overcome the, the challenge. You guys might be wondering, why don't I just skip these parts? And if I do feel the need eventually, I might just skip some of the game if I feel that it's getting too repetitive. The thing is, this is kind of giving you guys the entire process. Which then again, I'm not sure if that's what you want or not, but usually it is what I like to do. Unless there's like just a string of deaths. Holy crap. Ugh. But I do think that you guys are enjoying the iterative process here. I don't know though, so I will need your feedback. Even though um, this is like episode 9 that I'm recording right now. And I'm probably only going to see the feedback to this specific episode much further on. But oh well, I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, let's get the first one. I almost feel like starting to run through Sen's Fortress. I still don't know what happened to the, the second red one that last time. I'm not sure if he just fell down somehow or what the hell went wrong, but there is clearly two of them there. Is the guy coming or what? Look at him, he looks so bored. He's like, man, I'm so sick of this shit. So sick of this shit. This is another one of those characters that when he is uh, with the red glow around him, he looks so much more menacing. Look at that. If you just look at their face when it's got the red glow around it, it looks a lot more menacing. And like I said, not all NPCs look a lot more menacing. And god damn it, both of them came. This is a problem. This is a problem. A very, very big problem. Gonna have to exploit backstabs as much as possible. Holy crap! Ooh, that was lucky. There's another backstab. Is he gonna die? No, of course not. Why would he? Just die already! He's still alive! Just look at that! Look at that guy! Die! Thank you. I'll take care of this one. Man, I better not die, because I think that if I do die one more time in Sense Fortress, it's going to get repetitive. It definitely is going to get repetitive, so I better not die. There, have everything I've got. Take it. Take it all. I definitely need to get the, um, the lightning weapon, because that is going to help me immensely with the um, added damage that it's going to bring to the table. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem. Let's go. Go through here, start fighting this guy. Ooh, very dangerous position there. Damn it, not enough for the backstab. Can I have the backstab now? Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. And I also got a bleed together with that backstab, so that was very tasty. I quite enjoyed it. Let's have some more. Oh, you saw the sword coming out in from the front? That was gross. Whew, he was going to one-shot me again if he hadn't died. Throw your corpse around as it disappears. God damn it, you're going to get two shots on me? No. Gonna get one shot on me, and that is that. Chonk, chonk, chonk. Enjoy that. Triple arrow to the face, and goodbye. We are now leaving. You've already spoken to the onion bro. We already have the ring of slash resistance, whatever. Does this guy not spawn anymore? Might be the case. As a matter of fact, it doesn't look like the rocks are even coming anymore. Wait. Yeah, it seems like they're already going to the uh, stairwell. Okay. Are we going to aggro this guy? Yes, we are. Here he comes. Might as well get this guy on the outside as well. Peekaboo! They're not both going to come though, are they? Only one of them. 
The other guy's just sitting there in ambush like a good little scumbag. It doesn't look like the other snake is coming. Yes, she is. I saw her come. She's right behind me. Bitch. Why can I get this guy's back already? Die! Where's the other snake? Oh, looks like she didn't come. What I was seeing was the boulders falling. Okay. Well, I would very much like to not activate this so that I could use it on him, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. But we did kill the first one, so we should do fine. Hello? How are you feeling this fine day as I carve this blade into your anus? I used to have a joke that I ran far too much, which is uh, whenever I did a backstab, it's a prostate exam. Because you kind of like are shoving a katana directly up the rectum, so... Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye. Why do I hear footsteps? Why do I see a strange lingering shadow? Wait. What's above here? Ah! I knew I was listening to something. Hello! How are you doing up there? Little scumbag. I knew that I was listening to something that I couldn't figure out what it was. And if I remember correctly, in order to get this guy, it's over here. Perfect. It's not really perfect. You could have gotten more damage out of it, but it's good enough. Now, if you want to be a completionist, you can actually go this way and get the Ring of uh, Stealth, which might actually be something useful for this particular playthrough, but the thing is, you guys know me, I do not like using stealth rings, so stealthing is not in my nature. Now, there should be the red guy over here. Yep, I saw you from down there. How you doing? Ooh, gotta be careful with that hit. I actually stopped blocking for a couple of seconds there, which was a very dangerous thing to do. Slash. My turn. Bleed! I, like, I, I really like the bleeding mechanic in this game for whatever reason. I can't even tell why, it's just I like it. I like making things bleed. It is very, very satisfactory. So we can actually go down there, through here. Why did I even come up to begin with? I'm not that intelligent, am I? I should have not come up. And I know that there are easier ways to do what I'm about to do, by the way. Which is, like, for instance, you can actually attack the snake that's down there. And then block a hit against the wall. And you can actually break that wall. But I like doing it the traditional way. Which is why we're doing this. Now this... And now this. However, I think I'm gonna go and get the, um... Wait, for that I need... Damn it. I took the complete wrong way. That's all I gotta say. Either way, let's roll! Am I gonna be faster than the rock? I'm not. So I gotta take some shortcuts. Okay, we should be good now. Now, what's going to be inside here? Nothing? No surprises in this room? Okay. I'm surprised just by the fact that there's no special surprises in here. Okay, it looks like Mimics don't like bleeding. You don't bleed, do you? It's probably because you're made out of wood or something. Well, you don't bleed, but you do get staggered, so... I guess that's fair. Now... Give me that. Yes, yes, we'll take that. Where is it? I think it's going to do a lot more damage than the katana, which is the reason why I want it, but it's probably going to be heavier as well, or isn't it? No, not heavy enough to really be a hindrance. So I guess that now we can be all overpowered and stuff. Oh, wait, there, there is actually no safe zone. Oh, there is a little safe zone over here. Either way, we're going to be going in that direction because I want to get the covetous gold serpent ring. Just kind of that whole completionist jazz and whatnot. Well, if I am to be completely completionist, I really should go and get the silence ring as well. 
So I guess that I guess that's going to be my next objective. Okay. We've also opened the door, so I'm gonna have to go and do Logan. Good old big hat Logan. Like I said, I'm gonna save everyone, or as many people as I possibly can. That might just include the Sunbro as well, so keep that in mind. Now then, um... Hmm. Yes, it is throwing that way. So I might as well go down here. For a second I thought that the rocks were coming this way, but they're not. Two hundred and forty-four? Is that a whole lot more than my katana? Wow, okay. It clearly is not. It is actually quite underwhelming in these dudes. Oh well, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, we don't have the master key. Oh, you see what bad habits cause you? If you don't have the master key, you can come here, and Logan's gonna go tell go fuck yourself, fetch my key, bitch. So, yeah. I actually can't come and save Logan. That is terrible. Terrible news, everyone. We can't save Logan. Okay, what else? Doesn't look like the stones are coming this way, so let's go on ahead. Move through here. Is this thing up again? No, it's still down. Sometimes traps get reactivated, that's why I was asking. It did look, however, that I have haggroed the snake, did I? Did I aggro the snake? Sorry, snake dude? You gonna be aggroed? Oh, I might have, but it looks like he might have killed himself as well. Okay, now let's wait, because the rocks are gonna fall down here as well. I like how that thing just keeps spinning on top. Every time that you hear this noise, that's the thing spinning on top. It just keeps spinning like a record. Okay, and let's go down here. And let's go get that ring, shall we? Which is just, it's, it's the worst idea ever, really, to go get that ring. But I'm going to switch to my katana because these guys seem to be incredibly resilient to uh, lightning damage. Now, I know that there was one guy that I saw here, but he seems to be gone. So all we have is the red lightning dude. Hello, red lightning dude. How are you doing? How about if I backstab you for all the grievances you've caused me earlier, huh? How about that? How about if I hack and slash my way through your face? Oh, you got bled. You got bled. Look at you bleeding, bitch. Goodbye. Now give me my ring. Slumbering Dragon Crest ring. And this is the stealth ring. So basically what this does is you become more stealthy. Now the problem with that is that in order to get this ring, we are now at the mercy of one Titanite demon that's down here. Uh, but before we go down there, I might as well just get the rusted iron ring. And that's it, really. Because the rusted iron ring, for those of you who do not know, if you are new, if you are looking at the Dark Souls playthrough for your very first time, which still happens to this day, which is clearly a good thing in my opinion, but um, if you're looking at this for the first time, basically what the uh, rusted ring does is it allows you to move faster when you're on a watery surface, which is where we're going. Can I actually kill it from here with fireballs? I think I'll drop down. So I might as well just drop down in style. Not sure how much damage that did. It did a little bit. Please land it, land it. Yes! Burn! Burn in fire and flames and brimstone. Okay. That's pretty good. Should be able to hack and slash my way through the rest of you. Ooh, got you midair. That's gotta suck. Now let's see just how sneaky we can actually be as we try to exit here. And let's switch this for this. As you can see, your character now no longer makes uh, footstep noises. <clears throat> so supposedly we're being real stealthy now. Thing is, it, it, look at that. Look at that. He's already seen me. It's like, how is this stealthy? How is this any kind of stealth, really? The guy's already seen me. Oh my god. 
Though I think that that particular gargoyle has superhuman senses. Not even superhuman. I, I keep calling them gargoyles, by the way. That's another thing that you guys will have noticed from all of my videos. I keep calling those guys gargoyles. They're uh, prowling demons, if I'm not mistaken. That is the proper name for them. Either way, that particular uh, prowling demon has super prowling demon senses. So we're not going to mess with that. And what the hell is that noise? <laughs> you see that guy just jumped down? He's like, screw this, I'm leaving. Goodbye. See ya. Go meet your brethren downstairs. Look at us being stealthy now. Nobody can hear us. I'm so stealthy right now, you guys have no idea. <laughs> Seriously though, I, I don't even know if this ring does anything of significance. I've never really tested it exhaustively. A lot of people swear by it. I know that ENB uses it every now and then if he wants to really be stealthy about things, but... Me, I don't have a, lot, a whole lot of faith in this particular ring, so... I just wanted to get it to do the whole completionist thing, so... There. There it is. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any rocks falling down on this side, so let's get the hell out of here. And once again, we're gonna have to go up those stairs. And from those stairs this time, we're actually... Jesus, all the traps have reset for how long I've been down here. And from those stairs, we will actually be going um, to the upper section of Sans Fortress. And I wonder how many red things we will find there. Can you imagine finding a red version of Mr. Richards? That'd be awesome. Okay. If you're good enough, you can actually um, run all the way through and not get hit by rocks. But I seem to always get hit when I try to do that, so I just decided to play it safe. Because, amazingly enough, I haven't really invested all that much in health, and I'm not using the Ring of Favor and Protection. So therefore, it is actually a little bit problematic. Anyways, let's turn this thing this way. To make sure that we've uh, saved the Onion Bro. Because that's also going to give us more items. Yeah, this is going to be uh, one weird playthrough. Now let's drink up. Salute. Let's activate this thing. I always run through here when I feel confident enough. It's just not the case. Now, red things up here. Where will you be? Red things, black phantoms, whatever you want to call them. Holy sh! What? You get. You gotta be kidding me. His thing just loaded when I was already there. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. That was just complete and utterly ridiculous. Like, his... Oh, his textures only loaded when I was halfway through the run. What the hell was I supposed to do? Oh, that particular placement, I have to say, is actually pretty lame. That one was pretty lame, pretty weak sauce. Yeah, and this is what happens next. Great. That was great. That was really good. Look how tricky that is. Just look at it. Nothing is there, and then from the moment you start walking, he shows up. That is so fucking tricky.
<laughs> Eat that, you scumbag. Oh my god. This is pretty tricky. Pretty, pretty tricky. Do not like that particular, uh, this particular section of Sense Fortress anymore. Okay, time to go ahead and get uh, get this game going again, because holy crap, that was really, really bad. Had to do quite a bit of running there, because honestly, I do get tired of uh, fighting the same things over and over. Oh crap. I forgot that both of them would come if I was to do that. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit more aggressive as opposed to less aggressive. Okay, so now we're coming up on one of the uh, more challenging portions. I wonder what kind of readies we can expect here. Is there going to be a red at the end there? No? Well, not now, but who knows by the time I start running. Uh, no reds. Doesn't look like we're actually going to have any reds in here, which is good. That allows me to come up in here and just do a... This is Sparta. Goodbye. Now we're going to be turning right here. We're going to be crossing the fog gate, and let's hope that there's nothing strange and weird. Instantly blocking. Okay, doesn't seem like we have any red phantoms in here. Let's run for the checkpoint. Run to the checkpoint. Run for it. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. And, yep, we cleared it. Sweet. Big explosion on top of us to celebrate. Sounds just about right. Okay, so it is now time to go ahead and do the exploration of this particular zone. Let's see if there's any reddies around here. I can expect some red balder knights hiding somewhere. You never know. They could be hiding anywhere, really. I'd be surprised if there weren't. Hello. I'm a ninja. I'm stealth. Booyakasha. I can hear snakes here, though. They're not supposed to be any snakes. That parry! That pro parry! Give me your shield. No? No dice? Okay. I'm gonna buy their shield, then. What the... Has this pillar always been like this? Kinda crooked and shit? Weird. I never noticed it being crooked. Get backstabbed. Get backstabbed, good sir. Goodbye. And now we're gonna get the Ring of Flames. The Ring of Flames. And now let's move onward and see where else we can go to to find more red thingies. Now the first thing we want to do is get rid of the big red giant that's shooting fireballs at our face. Because that gets old after a while. So I'm gonna make a run to the top. Hopefully we what? Wait a second, lightning snakes? Hello. Hello, Mr. Red Snake. What you doing there? She's gonna be able to hit me. It's gonna be problematic. She's gonna be able to hit me now. Oh no, she has range. Good. Okay, there's no reds there. How about reds here? No? Still looking good? Still no reds? Looking for the reds all over the damn place. We got the good old bolt thrower here. Surprised we haven't found any anything red. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing here. Well, I guess we'll go upstairs. I wonder if there's two giants up here to compensate. Nope, and he's gonna throw the pants on. That was really fast. Okay. Now just stay there for a while. This won't hurt a thing, trust me. Wait, let me just recuperate my stamina. And now you can bleed again. Thank you. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Go on ahead, fall to your death, and give me a Titanite chunk. Thank you, that's mighty kind, good sir. Mighty kind. 
Now then, that we've done that, we are actually free to go ahead and explore a little bit. And before we go down that route, let's go ahead and see what Mr. Richards is up to. Let's go ahead and check out what's going down on the realm of Mr. Richards. Should I use a fireball on this guy? I don't know. There you go. How do you feel about that? Not too good? Okay, it's understandable. Oh. Oh, here comes the bleed. Told you about it. I, I warned him. You guys saw me warning him, right? Okay, go downstairs and let's see about Mr. Richards. What is Mr. Richards up to? Mr. Richards, how are you doing this fine evening? You don't have any friends, Mr. Richards? That's a shame. Why won't you bleed? Oh well. Or Mr. Richards. And in case you guys are wondering why I call him Mr. Richards, it's because one, once upon a time, I was live streaming and someone called him Mr. Richards and I thought it was so damn funny that it just became a thing. Rearing a sacrifice, that's going to be useful for Seath, of course, as per usual. As we all know, that is the one time that I uh, really like donning the Rings of Sacrifice. Is at Seath. So this section, nothing really special about it. No red phantoms of doom. Now the interesting thing is the place where they placed that particular red phantom. The, the snake phantom. Because she's actually in a place that's going to make it harder for people to do the jump. Which is interesting. It's interesting because that jump is pretty challenging in and of itself. Although I guess you can't just shoot him off of there with a bow. Which I actually don't have yet. I should just go and buy a bow at this point. Well, this is going to be a dexterity character, so... The bow that I'm going to be using is most likely going to be the Black Bow of Paris. Paris, Ferris, whatever the hell you want to call him. Yep, problematic. And let's do the jump now. Oh, you missed me there. Push her off, push her off! That's it, goodbye. Fall to your death. Look at that! There's two of them down there. Two red snakes. And the lightning chick. Interesting. I wonder if uh, I didn't have DS fix if I would be able to see that. Yeah, most likely I would. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna give me what I want, and you're gonna do it now. What I want is this Balder shield. Because the Balder shield has a crap ton of stability, as we all know. And for light builds like this one, Balder shield is gonna be your go-to shield, really. Now, we're going to have to do some kiting involving with those, some kiting involving, some kiting with those guys down there. So let's see what we can pull out here, shall we? And the reason why we're coming down here, by the way, if you don't know, uh, this is where you actually get the cage key. The cage key that is used for freeing Logan, as well as opening the cage shortcut. Whoa. Ooh, not good, not good, not good at all. We're in a really bad position. So you want to just slowly head towards the exit. Heal up. Wow, these guys are fast. Get that backstab action going. One-shotted. In the face. No questions asked. I had full health, ladies and gentlemen. Full health. Got one-shotted by one of those snakes. I believe that is a good point as any to finish this uh, particular episode. As we can tell, the simple fact that you turn on the Grave Lording thing makes the game quite different. Which is actually a lot more different than I expected, which is a good thing. Because it adds a lot of variety to this particular playthrough, I feel. Either way, as per usual, leave me your comments and feedback. All the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.